Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Furloughed flight attendant Stella here reporting. This is exciting. Look at this room is coming together. We've got pictures hung up. We've got a shelf with more pictures. We've got Franny. He's eating a treat right now. And look, we are keeping this couch. We finally got a winner. Bart and I have just really wanted a leather couch for for like ever. <laughs> We've tried a few and we have not been successful, but we really, really like this one. With the overall like aesthetic of the room, and we just, we just love, 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 love this couch. Look at Franny's doing his yoga. <laughs> He's so funny. Stretch it out, boops. Francis, you're so funny. These are the pillows that I went with, guys. These two pillows here, this is like an olive green, and this is like a mustard yellow. These two are from Room and Board. This is our pillow still from New York. We're hanging on to it. It's, it's on its last leg. It's looking a little floppy. And these two pillows here are from CB2. That's not a pillow. A oh, boobs. It's also an olive green. And this is like literally the best throw blanket in the world. This blanket is Barefoot Dreams, and I got this one from Nordstrom's. You're all cozy now, huh? I literally can't with him. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about that couch. Today I have to turn in my flight attendant equipment, so I have to turn in my badge. Uh, where is my badge? Here's my badge, guys. I have to turn in my badge. I have to turn in the airplane keys that we were given and my tablet, my charger, my like, credit card reader for my tablet, basically all of my flight attendant equipment, I have to return by the end of the month. It's like October 30th. I've waited till like there's only like one more, two more days left in the month. I kind of didn't want to believe that I was gonna have to actually turn in my equipment because that makes it so real. That makes it like, this is legit. Like this is really happening. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like nervous pacing here. I don't know. I'm Stepped into the light, you guys. Oh, look at this. Hello. Have been filming so many sit down videos on my second channel. If you guys haven't checked that out, it's just the Stella Conley channel. And it's really, really super girly and just about like, luxury handbags that vintage luxury handbags that I'm like obsessed with this is my vintage star Judith Lieber guys I'm obsessed with this <laughs> yeah so if you like luxury handbags or designer or just like you know Amazon favorites makeup <laughs> so anyways if that is something that you are interested in check that out because it's a really girly colorful channel so before i turn in my equipment to my manager over at dca i'm going to go to sephora because they started their holiday winter sale it's like the best sale of the year you guys i feel like some people's kitchens are just always neat and tidy but like i'm telling you guys ours isn't we try we have dishes every night dishes from breakfast these bananas look like they're going bad. Just trying to keep it real with you. Francis, are you like, you're like really loving being wrapped up, aren't you? Into the bag they go. Mm, true. Not anymore. I'm like totally not taking this that hard. Hopefully by next year, early next year, I'll be back in the sky. It's officially sweater, scarf, season i've never gotten such a big bag from sephora i'll show you guys what i picked up i picked up both gifts and okay nobody's around me for six feet i picked up both gifts and um stuff for me and things that i wanted to try so i love the neighborhood i love i love all these like really pretty houses and it's so funny how the houses are like stuck together. Growing up in California, the houses weren't stuck together like that. Is this street not perfect? 
I love that. That's one thing I love about living in DC. The streets are so cute. It's so, you can really see the change of seasons. Just cut up some watermelon for a snack. Francis wants some. I love watermelon. Mmm! A cold oh come out of the fridge. I thought that was I thought that was gonna be easier to take a bite of that. Oh my gosh. Look at me, I'm so barbaric. I should be like sitting down and there's like no cute way to eat watermelon. It's like dripping down. <laughs> you just can't be cute when you're eating watermelon. Oh, that's so nasty. It's so slurpy. I never realized that. I haven't had watermelon in a while. Or when I have it, it's like always cut up. I haven't had like a watermelon wedge in a while. <laughs> I feel like I'm drinking like a glass of watermelon juice. Okay, let me clean up. Here it is guys, here's my equipment. Driving it over to DCA. Gonna drop it off with one of the managers on duty right now. We've got Bart. Hey. 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 I'm like feeling a, a mixture of like emotions. I'm not gonna lie, I have had a lot of fun this month kind of focusing on building a routine for myself. Waking up in the morning, drinking my coffee, checking emails, trying to work out, eating healthy, walking Francis, getting a nice little routine and then setting a few hours aside to edit videos, work on thumbnails, just do like, like work stuff, like I actually have a work day. I'm enjoying my furlough time, but I'm also a little bit sad. I do miss flying, I miss the adventure. I love my job as a flight attendant. I get really excited when I go on my trips and I know I'm going somewhere new, like which crew am I flying with? Where am I gonna go? What's gonna happen? On Instagram, I've been seeing a lot of my friends posting like, I guess this is it guys, we've gotta turn in our equipment. Our airline gave us a deadline of turning in our equipment by October 31st, so today is October 30th. And I'm just, I'm really waiting till that last minute to turn it in. The lights in the trees are. I know, it's pretty. <gasps> Ooh, yes. It's beginning to look a lot like no. No. It's beginning to look a lot like Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh man, I haven't been to the airport in a minute. Aww. Okay, now I'm getting a little nostalgic. I'm getting a little sad. Oh. I miss the airport. This is like my work office. Okay. Ah, seatbelt! Seatbelt. All right, all finished. Kind of sinking in now. Kind of feeling a little real. Oh man. I was go, go, go with my energy and then I wasn't. I'm drinking some matcha green tea here. I have you guys on my tripod right now because I wanted to just show you what I picked up at Sephora in case you guys are thinking of gift ideas or if you're just wondering what I buy at Sephora. <laughs> okay, this is better lighting. I had to like reposition you and now you get to see everything that is back there. Hopefully this blurs it out a little bit. <laughs> Let's start off with the sky. Okay, can we see it? I'm like hiding behind the product so that it focuses. <laughs> this is a leave-in conditioner. Now, I dyed my hair like two months ago and I had all these like blonde highlights and it like ruined my hair. My hair is so dry now. I keep like cutting it. If you notice, it keeps getting like shorter. It's because I just keep like chopping off a little bit, trying to get that bleach out of my hair. I need to just stick 
to being a brunette. I am not a blonde. I don't know why I keep trying to be. I need to just be a brunette. The reviews on this on Sephora were really, really good, and it's thick, you guys. This is a thick, look how it's not even like falling here. This is a super thick uh, leave-in conditioner, so I really need some thick leave-in conditioner. So to go with that, I also got the IGK Good Behavior Prep Spray. And this is also like a detangler, 24 hour frizz control, 450 heat protectant, and a shine. So I haven't tried either one of these, but the reviews on Sephora were really good and I really need some deep conditioning and moisture in my hair right now. This is Fresh Perfume. I smelled this the other day in the store, you guys. Oh, it smelled so good. This flavor or scent that I got is the grapefruit. This is what it looks like, the little bottle. Oh, I can even smell it and I haven't even sprayed it yet. This is super, super like fresh and citrusy and it smells just like grapefruit. I already have other perfume on right now so I don't wanna put this on, but I'm so excited for this. I love this scent. Oh, so excited about this one. Okay, let's get this focused. Okay, I've never actually tried this before, but this, I bought this for the exfoliant treatment. Okay, wait. So this is Kate Somerville, Somerville, and this product right here, this one right here is like her famous product. They call it a facial in a bottle or a, gosh, I don't know, at Sephora. Oh wow, look how cute this is. This is a great little gift. Wow, okay, so it's this one. So this alone retails for $85, but this whole thing was $85 and you get the full size, um, this super popular like facial in a jar thing, you get a full size of this daily foaming cleanser and then you get this little guy here which I'm not quite sure what it is. I haven't tried any of these, but this one is supposed to be super, super popular. It's got like a million reviews on Sephora, and so since there's the coupon right now, I thought, well, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how this works. I was gonna smell it, but it's sealed. I cannot wait to take a shower and try this. Another good one here. Right now, there are so many gift sets at Sephora, and this is the best time to like shop, I swear, guys. These gift sets are such good values, plus you get the coupons. So I have been wanting to try this Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. This one. This Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. So this retails for $56. And this little gift set retails for $55. So you get the full size, plus you get two additional products here. And the Kiehl's lady was there today and she said, that Kiehl's had a price increase recently, but that didn't reflect on the gift sets. The gift sets were still already slotted to go out at their prices. So right now this year, she said the Kiehl's gift sets are priced really, really well, plus the coupon, okay, plus the coupon. You guys, <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> I'm obsessed with this guy. Look how cute this is. Okay, I don't remember how to say this brand name, Briojo, Brio, Briojo, Briojo, but this is basically hair masks. So it's three deep conditioning, hydrating hair masks, and one of them is shaped like a little bear. I can't even wait. I have to see. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. That smells really, really good. Are we dead? I am such a sucker for packaging, and I saw this, and I was like, okay, done. I have to have this. <gasps> you guys, this is so cute. Okay, so this is the Brijo, okay, I don't know how to say it, Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. Oh my gosh, can I just, can I smell this? Ah. It's sealed also, but 
out of this whole box when I opened it smells amazing. I'm really, really focused right now on hydration for my hair. This gift set, you get three hair masks. So this is the honey one. You also get their just regular, I think, whew, these are in there. This is their regular deep conditioning one and then you get an avocado kiwi one. Yeah, so you get three. And like, how cute is that gonna look in your shower? This would make a really cute gift. I wish they sold this by itself. <laughs> this is really cute packaging. I would go and buy this just by itself. Okay, and the last thing that I have in here is a small, another Kiehl's little gift set here. And this is a mini travel midnight recovery concentrate. This is one of my favorite oils to put on in the evening right before bed. It's so moisturizing, it feels so good on your face. And then she said you also get, oh you get a cleansing oil with it. Okay, cool. So you get a little tiny cleansing oil and the regular midnight recovery oil. And then like randomly Sephora gave me a Kat Von D uh, eyeliner, like liquid, small liquid eyeliner thing. I was like, wow, thanks for that. So that's what I got from Sephora. Lots of like hair and skin. I didn't really pick up any makeup this time because honestly I'm not wearing that much makeup right now. Unless I'm filming like an actual sit down video then I'll do like a full face of makeup. Since we have to wear the mask, I literally just do my eyes. So I don't know. I know, I'm like extreme close up guys. But really right now, I'm really just doing like eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner. I, I'm just doing my eyes. I don't wanna put makeup around my face because when I put the mask on, it's already irritating my skin, I'm already breaking out. So I'm really just, <laughs> I'm really just doing this part. This year on the sale, I just don't think I'm gonna buy any more makeup. I'm just gonna stick with Skin and hair repair. Hello, look at me, marketing executive job, here I come. I swear this green tea is like an elixir. I was so tired, you guys, and now I'm like, Rah! what does it have in it? Okay, I'm gonna make dinner now. We're gonna have pasta night uh, with some spicy spaghetti sauce and a salad. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was a little bit of an emotional day. I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then like I dropped off my stuff with the manager and I'm still like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I get into the car and I was like, I'm kind of not fine. And Bart's like, it's okay, honey. You'll be a flight attendant again. I don't know, I'm just, I like the time, I like the time that I have. I feel like I'm cooking a lot more. I'm getting a really good routine down. But then I also just miss being in the air. I miss the excitement of it. I feel like I still kind of have a job right now because I'm still doing YouTube and I'm having a ton of fun with it, especially on my second channel doing my like sit down videos. But I feel like also like I don't have a job because I don't have my flight attendant job. So I'm like, am I jobless? Am I not? I'm not really sure. But anyways, okay guys, I have to make dinner. Let's take you off of here. I think I have to like clean the kitchen a little bit first. These are recycling bags. Guys, you need this green tea. Let me just show you which one it is so you guys can like. There's a Japanese market right in my neighborhood. And this, what's? Let's focus on here. This is the tea that I got. And the guy said that I could also get it on Amazon. But I am swearing by this tea right now. Every time I'm tired, like midday, and I'm just like, oh, I wanna take a nap, I have a cup of this, and I'm like pepped up, like really pepped up. Did penne quinoa corn penne pasta with broccoli marinara sauce. 